We just started our 13th season. We've had attendance growth for the last two years, ratings growth, merchandise sales growth, digital growth, and you know, it's all being led by a tremendous explosion in the talent in the game. The WNBA team will be awesome for Tulsa. You're getting the behind the back passes, the through the legs, the alley oops, you're getting all that stuff. The same stuff that you see with men's basketball, the same excitement, just the same fast paced game. You get the players in their absolute prime in the WNBA. Not only the players that will play for Tulsa's team, but you see the top players in the world as they're coming through. When the Los Angeles Sparks come through, when the Detroit Shock comes through, when the New York Liberty comes through. You see the top players in the world coming through, Tulsa, Oklahoma. These women are without exception some of the best role models for young women that we have in our country. I and mean, I can tell you that I intend to be on the front row of those games every time. And I think we need to take our young women and, and men, our community there to see what professional sports can do to Tulsa. The WNBA is so strong when it comes to reaching out to minorities and to the community. You've got kids looking up and they're seeing role models, they're seeing Candace Parker and they're thinking, wow, I could be Candace Parker when you're in seventh or eighth or ninth grade. I could be a professional athlete. And to get to know some of the players and maybe go to a restaurant and, and get an autograph from a player or have a player come to your school, that's going to be awesome for, for young women. It's going to be awesome for them to see and identify with women, especially the minority kids. With the success that we've seen our Oklahoma City friends have with the Thunder, it's certainly exciting to bring the WNBA to Tulsa and to see potentially what kind of cross-marketing could occur and what kind of branding uh, we might see for the state of Oklahoma as far as professional basketball is concerned. Well, I think it means a great deal for the city and the, the national exposure and the national recognition that you get from having a major league sporting franchise. In Tulsa, this would be our only major league caliber uh, team, and we think we're just the right size to very strongly support a franchise of this magnitude. And then you look at the popularity of women's basketball at the University of Oklahoma, the growing popularity of it at Oklahoma State University. You see that there is an untapped potential for women's basketball in this state. Girls basketball is the number one participation sport for girls in this country by far. I think a lot of that growth is certainly strengthened by the participation rates we see in the state of Oklahoma and I'm sure in Tulsa where there are a lot of great youth leagues and girls who now have the chance to aspire to play in the WNBA. It means having five to six to seven, eight thousand fans uh, in that arena and in downtown 17 or so times a year. It's a boost to local restaurants, uh, to local small businesses. It's a boom uh, toward our continued downtown development. Tulsa is the place for the WNBA, and I'm confident that they will succeed beyond all expectations.